Oh, hey, are we recording? Oh, yes. No, I'm just joking. Yes, we are. What up, guys? Ryan Rigg, the host of your show. Welcome back. Ryan Vlogs 2. And I'll tell you why I'm in my office here in just a moment. It is late night. I have my phone in hand. About 11.53 p.m., September 11th. Uh, it was a quiet day for me. Uh, I did some work, actually, but uh, just quiet with, you know, 9-11, just a day of remembrance for all those, you know, first responders, firefighters, military Loved ones, family members, everybody. It was just, uh, we all can remember, most of us can remember, you know, everything we did 13 years ago on this day, and it's a day that will always change everything, you know, and I just kept it, you know, some of my posts today real simple and brief, you know, honoring those and just remembering those on 9-11. I just felt that was important uh, for today. Um, it was also important tonight uh, with Apple, and the Apple Store is down right now because it's midnight. And if you guys didn't know, um, or live under a rock, no, I'm just joking. But really, if you didn't know or live under a rock, the iPhone 6 is available for pre-order uh, and iPhone 6 Plus. You guys are like, aren't you excited? I am at my desk chomping at the bit to actually order. Yes, I'm actually really excited, guys. I'm just having fun with you. Um, tonight, I'm shooting this vlog with the Canon 70D and the Rode Video Mic Pro. I'm, using a 20, I'm shooting at 24 frames per second. Call me a sucker. I, I always shoot at 30 frames anyway. I just wanted to shoot 24 because it gives it that cinematic style vlog. You know, the movements are slower and more movie-like. That's actually me moving slow. But anyway, um, the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus were announced. You know, Apple had their big event. My internet was sabotaged this week by some gamers. No, it was actually, I think it was the storm knocked me out. I'm not sure. Couldn't do my live event that I wanted and provide some other videos, so I know I was bummed. But nonetheless, I've got an iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus video that will be going up tomorrow on my main channel. In addition to Fridays with Fel, because tomorrow will be Friday, so make sure you tune in. I'll basically be giving you, from a, basically an Apple fanatic uh, standpoint, you know, and I know if I say Apple fanatic and unbiased and the same, that's kind of an oxymoron, but really it is. I... I Usually I'm known to give it to you real, so that's how I'm going to spit it to you about my thoughts, you know, on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Yesterday I just put up a highly requested what's on my iPhone 5S video, what's on my iPhone video. So the iPhone 5S in gold is almost going to be gone soon. So I'm waiting here for Apple to actually announce and update the, <coughs> pardon me, update the store so that I can get on. Now I'm in Illinois, so I'm two hours behind the time. There. So, for example, California is two hours behind me. So, my thoughts is at 2.01 a.m. my time, local, it's 12.01 p.m. and I should be able to pre-order. So, I've got uh, my Mac here, I've got my iPad, I've got multiple ways in case I get locked out or the system's down to go in and get my order. So, I want to make sure I secure both the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. I'm actually getting both models. So, I can do review, unboxing, tutorials, multiple videos on them, comparison, a, and, I, and just because I want them, and I'll use them for work outside of YouTube and for YouTube. So a little bonus there for business business expense. But then maybe I might be inspired after I hit 10,000 subscribers on my main channel to do an iPhone 6 giveaway. I know you guys are like, this guy's unbelievable. It's marketing. This is how I choose to market myself with epic giveaways. I figure I may not ever be the biggest on YouTube, and that's not my plan, but I want everyone to know who I am. <laughs> And I think with all the epic giveaways, I think they'll start to figure out who I am and what I'm all about. So, looking forward to ordering that. I'm ordering the 64 gig models, both of them in gold color for AT&T Network. So, um, I'm not going to actually use my upgrades. And a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, are you kidding? The reason is, every time I get an, up, uh, an iPhone, I end up selling it for double that I paid for it in the store. So, for example, the iPhone 5S, 32 gig, I paid $300 on an upgrade. So, I, I know I won't get 600 for it, but I'll see four or 500 bucks, and that doesn't bother me. And that'll be towards the new ones. So, and then next year, you know, when the iPhone 6S or the iPhone 6 Plus S or whatever they're going to call it, iPhone 7 comes out, I'll then have those and sell those. It's kind of a cycle I do. And then I leave upgrades available for different lines, you know, like for my business. And then my son, he also has an iPhone 5. So I like to leave, you know, not take his line and leave him an option to do an upgrade because I did two years ago an iPhone 5 surprise video and I'll link it on this actually about 270 some thousand views which is just awesome but uh, 
Maybe we'll do an eye... Maybe I'll surprise them again. I don't know. That'd just be... I got so much hate comments from people. They have no idea about me or my son or my life or anything. They just judge a one-minute, half-minute video. Those that know me through the vlogs, they would know or know me through my main channel, know by now. So, I know it was exciting this week. We had Destiny Midnight release. I've been jamming on that. Like I said, the internet was sabotaged. So, I was like... Literally sitting there because most of my business outside of YouTube revolves around the internet as well and I'm like It was a whole lot of that it seemed like so um, But had the destiny release played a bunch got the updates done Like we talked about super excited about the iPhone also tomorrow tune in Fridays with fell is gonna be something special if everything works out I'm having not having but something was somebody a company reached out to me and They are gonna send me some stuff something. Uh, I get it tomorrow, I think, according to the shipping. So I'm not going to tell you a company, but you've all heard of them. They're big. I love them. I always support them. I always shout them out so you guys might know who they are. If you do know who they are, leave a comment in the vlog below if you think you know, which would be cool. But uh, I'm excited to see what they sent because they are just awesome people. So they know who they are and I don't want to spoil it. So I've already said it in the beginning of this vlog. But anyway, I'm excited to see what's coming. I know things are just starting to happen and it's really exciting. You know, my life outside of YouTube, you know, is I do what I do and I work and I raise my son and take care of bills and kind of do pretty much the normal things you guys do. And then the YouTube with the three channels now has just been like all in, you know, I feel like I'm on steroids. I'm not, but I feel, that's how I feel like I am just being aggressive with the channels, you know, up 75 something videos and five or six weeks on the Gaming for Grandpa channel, which... That's unheard of. So we're getting ready to turn over 500 actual video uploads on my main channel, Fast Electronic and Loud, and hit 2 million video views on that la last week, I think it was. So I was so excited about that. And I think we're nearing like 1,500 subscribers on the vlog channel, which you guys are awesome. Like I sit here humbled every day. I'm like, what it is about me or my vlogs or my life that you guys like, but I love it. And that's how we connect. And it's been fun, you know? So. Uh, Monday night, if you guys saw the vlog, I know it was like at night, and I used my iPhone 5S with the LED, it was like kind of like blah, but if you guys saw in the car, I got some swag there, and I wanted to show you guys that. Pardon me there, reach back here. So these are actually just set up in the store, and they're not, they weren't necessarily for the release of Destiny, but they were just there to advertise like the new expansion pass. It's a pretty good sized box, you can see. So I just had Destiny and Expansion Pass. This is like the stuff that I've talked about, guys. You like that autofocus, I know. Me too. <laughs> Best part of the Canon 70D. Uh, like we talked about when I have a bigger home and a game room, I hope to have all that stuff set up, and that's just kind of some of the gamer swag. So the other thing I thought we could do is another live unboxing. It's, well, this would be a live unpackaging, a live unwrapping, because unpackaging is not a word. Depackaging, we could call it. The unwrapping. So what we have here on the back, it says Destiny T-shirt Best Buy, because that's where I was at. They asked me what size. I said large, medium, extra large. I said large. I don't wear these. I just want to keep them all about the same size. So that way when I frame them all, like in my game room, you know, it's like different things I want, like the Call of Duty shirt I want, the Diablo Sports shirt I want. Yeah, I'll hang it. I'll hold it up here. Pretty sweet. Destiny. I'm still back here. I'm just looking at my monitor too. I just want to get it close to you guys. I know my voice was muffled there because of the t-shirt, but yeah, so a little more game room slash game swag slash man room swag. Still doing the uh, single thing, by the way. Not that anybody asked or was concerned, but I've been doing that for a while now. And back at it. Not back at it, just... That's where I'm at with that. Everybody's like, go to match.com. What? <laughs> no, I couldn't do that. So, um, yeah, I have my eyes on a few things. A few people. No, no, just tech. I, I don't. This isn't a vlog about my love life. We could. Do you guys want me to vlog about my love life? Or the nitty gritty personal? I guess I could. Not in this one. Let me know in the comments below. That's pretty funny, though. I will. Uh, you guys know me, I don't hold back, so... But yeah, I talked about the swag, and then I'm sitting... That's the reason why I'm in my home office here. I've got my Mac over here. This is the Thunderbolt display, what you're seeing behind me. 
and I have the brightness so jacked up because I'll tell you why it serves as a nice free 27 inch background fill light so for those youtubers out there other vloggers or if you guys are in your office or your lighting's poor and you have a thunderbolt display just hammer that brightness all the way up and it's a nice free backlight because I've actually got a light right here that you can't see a light right here that you can't see and then light here and then light there so the reason is if you look how to do lighting you want to have like a face light and that's what you're seeing here I got the face light here and then obviously a background light so that you give detail to the back the only reason you're seeing bokeh behind me slight bokeh with that lampshade is because uh, I'm shooting with the 40 millimeter pancake lens I call it I like the 40 millimeter lens from Canon because it's 2.8 aperture that's nice it lets a lot of light in so I got the light here for face light here for fill right there background and then just more background light there slight bokeh behind me I'm getting better at this I know these are the things I've learned just by watching other youtubers and I like to read I like to you know between videos between work I'm reading about how to make things better just work with the things I have I'm always trying to improve so that's why tonight I decided to shoot at 24 frames and got the key lighting in place I know call me a sucker for this guys I love it though I pumped out some videos on fast electronic and loud did the uh, Destiny PS4 unboxing the Glacier White that thing is so sexy uh, just posted a PS4 controller unboxing a what's on my iPhone and then show everyone uh, like a Elgato using your Elgato like capture your iPhone or your iPad your iPod touch so the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about too, a lot of people were crying, or have been crying. I want to show you guys this. See if it'll focus for me. That's the iPod Touch, okay? Fifth gen. Now when I got this, I've got an unboxing video. You can see that camera protrudes. Gotta love Canon, that autofocus. Hold on. I'm trying to get it for you guys here. Bear with me. I'm looking at my monitor and doing this. If I cover up the area... Where it's trying to focus me at. Nonetheless, the iPod Touch 5th Gen has got a protruding camera. I don't know if you guys own one. There we go. It's protruding, okay? When I got this iPod Touch like a year ago, the size of it, I was like, why couldn't the iPhone be like this now? And then, of course, here it is, basically. So the iPod Touch is just a preschool version of the iPhone 6, the new one. So if you got an iPod Touch 5th Gen laying around, that weight and thinness, that protruding camera, guys, has never been an issue. So, like, I know a lot of people are like, that is stupid, or I got to get a case now. Guys, I've had this, I've vlogged with it, I've traveled with it, I've not had any issues with it, and it's a protruding camera. The reason is, guys, it's protruding. There's so much technology and pieces that actually fit that camera. There's not much more room left behind the glass the digitizer and the circuit board it's got to protrude a little and to be honest with you that protrusion is going to reflect reflect avoid some of the light from the side so that's i'm not mad at anybody for their thoughts on it. i mean i'm they're like oh it should be all smooth i get that but for example like take my iphone 5s that doesn't have a protruding camera it's in a case you see that so it wouldn't matter if it protruded or not because the case is recessed anyway. Give everybody, everybody that's something to cry about, but they're still going to be waiting like me to buy the phone tonight at midnight. I'm not mad at you fellow YouTubers. I love you guys. You guys are all my friends and family. You know that. So I'm just like, I read these things on Twitter and everybody ranting and raving about this and that and... Then you see like one plus one saying, welcome to the plus family, Apple. Yeah, well, one plus, look at your market share compared to Apple. Enough said. Your private invite system for a phone that not a whole lot of people want. Sure, it's a great phone. I don't use it. Never would. If I want a giveaway for an invite I'd, or the phone, I'd just uh, pay it for and give it away again. But, I mean, the I, I mean, yeah, I'm an Apple fanboy, but I'm also respect a competitor. But, you know, one plus to do private invites only and then to now start, oh, welcome to the plus family, Apple. Are you kidding? You're like comparing apples to oranges. Sure, they're both fruit and they're both sweet. 
But at the end of the day, they're both different, guys. So that's my take on the protruding camera because even this protruding camera in a case wouldn't protrude because it, it would cover it. So I don't think it's going to be awesome. But a lot of people have been talking about, like, here's the iPhone and then here's, like, my iPad mini. Everybody's like, what's up, guys? Here, let me just take a call on my iPhone 6. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I had to laugh even in real time, because that's almost what it's like. Hey, what's up, guys? Just on my iPhone 6 Plus, you know? What's up, man? Just making calls. Oh, you got the new iPhone 6 Plus? Oh, yeah, me too. The phone's bigger in your head, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's really nice, though. It's 1920 by 1080 and puts my apps in landscape, you know? It's got optical image stabilization. The reason is it's so large that anybody that's going to be shooting video, they already know it's going to be shaky. But what's up, man? Oh, yeah, just over here on my iPhone 5S, looking normal. What about you? Uh, just on the big iPhone 6 Plus. What's your name? Oh, Ryan Rigg. Oh, that guy from Team Fell? Yeah. That. I make fun of myself, because that'll be me. No, I'm pri I, my thought is to use iPhone 6 Plus primarily for watching videos, keeping up with YouTube, work, you know, and doing everything I do on my iPad Mini, just in a smaller version with the choice of cellular. Call me a sucker, but that's kind of how I'm doing it. And a lot of this I'm going to talk about in my show tomorrow where I analyze the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Pardon me as I just dropped my iPod Touch. So we could even be more funny, because what about what happens like when we're making fun here of the iPhone 6 Plus? What's up, man, on my iPhone 6 Plus? What happens when they bring out like the iPhone 6 Plus Plus? So then let's take out like the iPad Air. Which will be like basically what? Would that be then the iPhone 7 Plus? You can't even one hand it. What up guys? Just saw my brand new iPhone 7 Plus. Oh yeah, you guys got the iPhone 6 Plus? You're stupid. Look at your small stupid phone. Look at my big dumb laptop to my head. <laughs> oh, that guy over there on the 5S? Yeah, he looks pretty normal. No, he doesn't. I'm on the iPhone 7 Plus, guys, right now. iPhone 7 Plus? Hello? Or, what do you think? The iPhone 6 Plus? Yeah, what's up, guys? Just looking like Samsung Note. I've seen people use the Note with the thing to their head, and I'm like... <laughs> what an epic vlog. Like, I'm having so much fun with you guys right now. I wish you were here. It'd be like a live audience, but... So we're just gonna hang out the rest of the vlog on the iPhone 6 Plus. Wait to order it, you know? See what it's like, you know? To be honest with you, I could use a phone that big. So, what you're telling me, it's, no one's going to take you seriously while you're holding this big dumb phone to your head. So, yes, my name is Ryan Rigg, Ryan Vlogs 2. Excuse me, what? Oh, oh, because I'm holding the big phone to my head. Yeah, I'm one of those. Yeah, we don't allow you, those people here. See, they'll ban you in restaurants. I mean, you need like a seat for two and a half, table for two, and my big iPhone 6 Plus. Hold on, I got my iPhone 7 Plus. Fast forward a few years. Yeah, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, I just wanted to talk business with you. Sure. Yeah, rocking that new iPhone 7 Plus. Thing's amazing. It's it's no longer lightweight. The battery life lasts years, and it's enormous. Comes with the optional hand strap. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's complete chaos. This is my favorite time of year, guys, with September and iPhones and everything going on, new games, new tech. So make sure you check out the videos on my main channel. Make sure you check out all the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus coverage. And I'm not a hater. I love it both. It just, to graduate from the 4-inch to enter the 4.7-inch arena on the iPhone 6, to then step all the way up from a 4-inch to a 5.5-inch on the iPhone 6 Plus literally is going to be like going from an iPhone 5S to an iPad mini with retina display. I mean, it's a little smaller, I get it, but it's what it's going to basically feel. I saw uh, Detroit Borg had retweeted somebody today. He said, this girl said she was going to be walking around all day like with her iPad mini to pretend like it was her new iPhone 6 Plus. That's kind of genius, actually. So, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the 24 frame cinematic experience. Welcome to the... Oh, hold on. Let me get my iPhone 7 Plus out for that one. We have to do that.
Welcome to the 24 frame per second iPhone 7 Plus debut. It's 2015. This would be 2016. September 12, 2016. I'm here, Ryan Rigg, still vlogging on my iPhone 7 Plus. You guys gotta admit, that's, that's some comical stuff. I don't care what anybody says, that's comical. I'm sitting here crying over here realizing... Hold on, get it together. There's nobody else here but the camera, and this will not be edited. The reason I act like this, like I've told you guys before, I feel like you guys are here when I vlog. It's just you're not, but I feel like literally you're all right here right now. So that's why I act a fool like this. And like I said, it's let's see what time. See what time it is? 12.14. I still have an hour and 45 minutes. I'm getting giddy. I'm getting chompy at the bit, but this is an epically long vlog. We had a lot to cover. Destiny... The new PS4 bundle, unboxing, did the Glacier White unboxing, uh, the controller, the what's on my iPhone. If you guys are curious what I do and how I rock my iPhone, check that out. A lot of goodness is going on. Plus, we are ordering the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus tonight for Fast Electronic Loud and my business. r, &R Network Media Solutions, whoop whoop, Springfield, Illinois. Worked really hard for that, to own that. That'll be two years. Yeah, oh my gosh, two years this March. Holy cow, that's incredible. It just time flies. So, but even though we are still waiting for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus to come out, I'm not worried because I have the iPhone 6 Plus right now and the iPhone 7 Plus. While you guys are ordering the iPhone 6 Plus tonight, I already have it. And I already have the iPhone 7 Plus. What's up? Light years ahead of you. Do you know why? Because... I I invented the flux capacitor. So me and Doc Brown smashed off in the DeLorean and we already got the new iPhone 7 Plus. So if you guys want to see more iPhone 7 Plus coverage, and if anybody takes this serious, I, I'm probably going to, in the words of my grandfather who passed a year ago from Alzheimer's, he would always say, I will flog you. If you don't know what that means, look it up. So if somebody actually takes me serious and thinks that I'm actually on an iPhone 6 Plus right now, I will flog you in the comments. No, I'm just joking. But if you enjoyed today's vlog, before we lead up to tomorrow's epicness, where we have the debut from Company Mysterious and what they sent, and it's coming via DHL, that should be a hint. No, that's not a hint. Uh, could be worldwide. Might have given it away, but I already said their name here, so... And you guys know who I shout out all the time. But yeah, guys, I'm Ryan Rigg, the host of your show, Ryan Vlogs 2. Not the number two, not like I'm going to keep pretending this is the iPhone 6 Plus, but T.O., like an addition, like also. If you guys enjoyed today's vlog, let me know in the comments below everything we talked about. I know it was a little long-winded, but it was fun. It was fun for me. And I can dial down this brightness now. And if we look, we'll see how much it killed my shot. No, it ref showed my reflection and my trick lighting. It's like a scream. Ooh. So... That's Ryan Vlogs too. I know, we'll bring it all the way back up there. But anyway, if you guys want to see some coverage on the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, make sure you subscribe to my main channel. Nearing 10,000 subscribers, very close. As soon as I get there, guys, I'm going to be giving the PS4 away and the Xbox One. Mind blown, I know. Call me crazy, but I love you guys, each and every one of you. Appreciate all the comments, if I could. Epic thumbs up for tonight's vlog. Canon 70D, 24 frames per second, 40 millimeter lens, Rode Video Mic Pro, because I love you guys. And yeah, tomorrow's Friday. Well, it's actually Friday, technically, so I'm still going to be up. I got time to edit this vlog, not much editing, just check the audio and the color. Color grading, what a crazy thing. And no, I actually won't do any of that. I'll just check the audio and put my little outro on it, and then yeah. And wait for the iPhone 6 Plus and 6 ordering. While I'm already on the iPhone 6 Plus. Fast Electronic and Loud. Ryan Rigg, the host of your show with his new iPhone 6 Plus. If you guys like tonight's vlog, make sure you do the right thing. Click that thumbs up button, guys. I've, I have to stop now. It's just become anarchy at this point. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next episode. Is he still on the phone? I act like I'm on the phone with somebody. I'm not. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. But I had to give it to you guys in the moment of how I'm doing. Let me floor one more time.
I can say is that was criminal. That was beyond criminal. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. I don't know how well sometimes you can hear it on the mic. Sometimes